This is a video on how to set up IA Connect for Power Automate to interact with the Citrix environment. The first step for this is to install the IA Connect directory for Citrix ICA. You can find this in your IA Connect package. The installation of the directory is pretty straightforward. Agree to term and conditions, select Power Automate with Orchestrator, and press Next a few times to install. The director will connect your local environment to the remote agent that you will have placed in the Citrix environment. I will explain how later on. For the purpose of this video, we are assuming you have already installed the local agent and the orchestrator in your environment. For this scenario, we will use Citrix Workspace to connect to our Citrix environment and remote agent. IA Connect supports all connection methods such as using the Citrix storefront web portal or using Citrix desktop. If you use Workspace, you should publish the agent.exe file in the Citrix server. The agent and the app or apps that you want to automate must be published in the same pool or delivery group of Citrix servers to be automated by IA Connect. As you can see here, both the agent and the door entry app are on server 2016. To publish the agent, you need this IA Connect agent.exe file that is available in the IA Connect package and it is saved in the remote agent folder, not the local agent one. Your Citrix team can simply place this file in a file share and publish it for you to use. No need for installations. As you can see on the top left, we are currently using the local agent in RVM and to prove that we can check the inspector web page to see which sessions we are attached to proving that it is a local one. Now, for the purpose of this video, I have built a quick flow here that launches Citrix Workspace, clicks a few buttons and icons to find the agent of server 2016, opens it and attaches to it. On the top left, the remote agent window from the Citrix session will appear at the end of the flow. We can see the flow running now actioning what I've just mentioned. We can prove that it is a remote session agent the same way we showed the local one earlier. In our local inspector, we can check two things. First, you can check which session the inspector shows is attached to. Here you can see that we have two agents available and we are attached to the Citrix ICA one. Second test is to go into UIA mode and try to locate an element. This will return a black screen as the agent can only see inside Citrix now and we don't have anything open aside from the agent itself. In fact, if I select that black window, it will return the Citrix desktop as an element. Now, if we launch another published app in our Citrix environment, you can locate element again and in this case, the inspector can see and navigate that app since it has been launched in Citrix within the same server as the agent. You can locate elements with your mouse as shown here and even if you step in and out of the selected elements you will see that this is working as if it was your local environment. If you want to then go back to your local agent, you can simply reattach to it and paste this action into your Power Automate flow. To further prove, we can easily go from one to the other and they're not the same environment. You can see here I have switched back to the local agent. And now I am trying to locate the application launched in Citrix. I cannot find it with the mouse inspection. I can see it as a desktop element in the UIA search, but I cannot interact with it or go deeper into its elements as it is hosted in a different environment. Everything else works as normal in the local agent, such as this web page, I can step in and see other parts of it easily. You can find more information about different ways to connect to your Citrix environment in our documentation in the IA Connect package.